understand. This is Die Hardman. Your current objective is to extend the Cairo network from here to Port Knot City. But don't think you can make a beeline straight for it. Signal won't carry that far. To cover the distance, we need to utilize knots. Think of it like uh, tying ropes together to make a longer rope. The first of these knots is a bridge's way station. Go ahead and take a look at the order. Deliver whatever they need and connect the Cupid. Sam, order summaries may contain information critical to your success. Make sure to review them before getting underway. Sam, now we've supplied you with some rope and a ladder for this run. They should help with the steeper inclines, and the ladder will also make a halfway decent bridge if you need to cross a river. Right now, I figure you're thinking about how you want to handle this order.
kept your load out, I take it? someone left over there. You can leave some of your own if you'd like. Messages, warnings, words of encouragement, whatever comes to mind. Sam, even the best porters have been known to lose their cargo. But you're better than the best. You've got what it takes to finish what they started. If you come across any abandoned shipments, consider taking them to their intended destination. It's easier than you might think. See, all our packages are tagged with Bridges IDs for easy travel. And your Odra deck is equipped with a scanner which might detect said IDs. Which is a roundabout way of saying that... That thing on your shoulder can help you locate mislaid shipments. Remember, Sam, every parcel is a promise made to a person in need, and they're counting on you to deliver.
This one's for you. Today's a good day. Good work, Sam. I see you brought in some lost cargo. Feel free to submit it here for processing. If you... It'll be safe and secure until another porter comes along to finish the job. Even if it has to pass through a dozen more hands before it arrives, you can rest easy knowing you did your part. against a sheer cliff or a steep slope, don't forget about the ladder we issued you. Be sure to try it out. I'd be interested to see what use of a seasoned pro like you might find for it. Anybody hear me? Anyone? Sam, remember that 
prolonged exposure to timefall damages cargo containers. Don't stay out in the rain any longer than you have to. Anybody hear me? Thank <laughs> you. 
of Central Knot City. No one seemed to know what it meant for the organization. Or the UCA. Or us. And the Oxytocin will take the edge off, and that'll be a big help. Won't be long before we're back on track. We may have a look. <laughs> this is great. Thank you again. Yeah, everything looks to be in good order. And soon our way station will be too, I hope. Second team, right? Where are the others? Dead. Caught in the void out. No way. That one blast got them all? And what, they just sent you out on your own? I mean, if it was just a delivery, that'd be one thing. Porters come through from time to time, but... The second team was meant to bring the Cupid. They were gonna connect us up. Three years we've been waiting for help. Three years! And they sent us one guy who... Shit, shit, shit! Tell me you brought more than the Oxy, at least. I've got the Cupid. You... Really? So it's true. They finally got it working. Well, then you just might be the answer to my prayers. So, what are you waiting for? But you, you put us on the goddamn grid? <laughs> Connection to Capital Not City confirmed. It's really happening. What, what, just like Amelie promised. We can finally do what we came here to do. Hey, you're headed west, right? 
Gonna be a lot of people happy to see you. I guess you'll keep on until you hit the coast, huh? Which means you'll get to see Amelie in person. Oh, that's something. That is really something. I... Me, I've never met her. Only seen her hollow messages back when I was with the first expedition. Well, anyway, you best be careful on the road. There's some bad people out there. More than good, some say. <laughs> but I don't need to tell you that. Thank you, Sam. By bringing that way station into the Cairo network, you've put it in direct contact with those of us back here in Capital Knot City. Right. What's next? West of the way station are a couple of structures our previous expedition put in place. And beyond them is your next destination, Port Knot City. It's on the shore of a crater lake that formed after the first void out. Your objective is to link up Port and Capital Knot. But to do that, you'll need to utilize our facilities as additional waypoints. They'll be essential for establishing a stable connection. Given the distance we need to cover, we're looking at using a distribution center and a power station, as to which you should head for first. Start with the distro center. We've got some cargo that needs delivering anyway. Check the nearby delivery terminal to pick it up. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Your hard work's paying off, Sam. Thanks to the increase in network capacity, HQ is now in a position to provide you with additional materials and support. Should prove useful. Your private locker can be used to store cargo and the like. Sam, you can use share lockers to exchange. PCC to build a post box. Sam, I can't allow you to build a structure there. Pick a spot outside the sensor ring and try again.
Weapons restrictions lifted. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam. Sam, if you're in the middle of a run and decide you need to secure your cargo temporarily or entrust it to another porter, you'll want to make use of a post box. In addition to cargo, post boxes can also be used to share gear and weapons, if you're so inclined. Now, I'm sure you've used them before, but humor me and build one. Maybe between Capital Knot and that way station. If you're lacking a PCC, I'm afraid you'll just have to scrounge it up yourself. To build a post box, you'll need to... It goes without saying, but if you're not already... designated to build that post box, would you? You should have no trouble finding it if you check your map and compass from time to time. Weapon 
Weapons restrictions lifted. at the designated site. Good. When you're ready to proceed, activate your PC.
thanks for the help. glad you're here. Gotta say, you truly are incredible. restrictions lifted. Sam, if you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. You're sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. someone has eyes on you. Get to your destination ASAP if you don't want to get caught. 
get too close to mule territory unless you have to. Focus on your deliveries for now.
doesn't look so hot. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Its functions are temporarily suspended, but they can be restored. I can perform the necessary maintenance at a distribution center. Hurry, though.
Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. Cargo verified. Thank you. Decontaminating suit. Rest is advised. Second expedition, right? The guy expanding the chiral network on his lonesome. When he's not out making deliveries. So what you bring us? Let's see it. Talk about above and beyond. <laughs> Thanks. Must have had to pass through BT territory to get here too, didn't you? <laughs> hey, weren't joking when they said you were a legend. Thanks for bringing more folks into the UCA. Looks like we're on the chiral network. And with those materials you brought for our chiral printer, we can produce supplies for you here as needed. Think of it as our way of returning the favor. Now head west and keep on doing what you do. Good. The distro center is on the network. Sam, do me a favor. Take your BB to a private room and connect it to the incubator. Good work. You there? Little help. Okay, Sam. Remove the pod and connect it to that incubator. It's in. Good. A uh, temporary excess of stress. Easily addressed if we return it to its mother's womb. Mother? Uh, located in the capital not city ICU. Brain dead, of course. Ah, uh, you mean still mother? Correct. A still mother's womb facilitates a connection between the world of the dead and the BB. And you, in turn, connect yourself to a BB, granting you the ability to sense BTs. <laughs> These pods were designed to simulate the conditions inside a still mother's womb. 
BBs need to believe they're in one at all times to function properly. However, we can only maintain this deception for so long, which is why we must periodically update the environmental data by synchronizing it with a steel mother via the chiral network. There. The update is in progress. Right now, the pod is synchronizing with the steel mother in Capital Knot City and reconfiguring its settings based on the latest data. Returning your BB to the womb in this manner will temporarily reduce its stress levels. That being where it technically belongs, of course. Kid looks happy. I'll try adjusting the oxytocin dosage. Autotoxemia should set in much slower from now on. You should remember that BBs are just equipment. Try not to get attached. Each one has been physically removed from its steel mother's womb, a process that renders them unpredictable and prone to failure. No BB on record has remained in service for over a year. It may need to be retired before this expedition is over. And then? You saying there's no way to keep my BB alive? <sighs> you must understand, there is still a great deal we don't know about BBs. As we expand the chiral network and recover more past data, perhaps we'll find our answers. Uh, oh, right. You asked me to look into why the BTs might be reacting to your blood. I spoke with Hartman. We should have your results soon. Anyway, get some rest. You and your BB are both exhausted. <sighs> Good night, Sam. people in the cities these days. No one's having children anymore. But humans aren't made for living alone. They're supposed to come together, to help one another. And if we as a people can't do that, if we can't reconnect, then, well, it's like Bridget said, extinction. Come on. Rebuilding America isn't gonna get rid of the BTs. As long as they're still around, there's no escaping it. But at least we'll have hope. I'll be waiting, Sam. Waiting for you. Come and find me. Hello. 
Professor Sam. This is Hartman. Since you're awake, it might behoove you to freshen up. To that end, why not take a shower? It's good for the body and so, and also my research as it happens. Study other people with dooms? Everyone in bridges, myself and Mama. Results thus far are inconclusive. But you possess other singular qualities, being a repatriate as well. I must confess to a measure of optimism. Processing fluids, waste products, currently dispensing. There, take the sample with you. Should the opportunity arise, try using it on a BT. I'm curious to see how they react. Who knows, it may even prove beneficial to you. There was an old research paper detailing the effects of bodily fluids from individuals like us on BTs. It is only by recovering these materials that we can unearth the knowledge of the past. Not just the death stranding, but also the mystery of your body's unique properties and even our doom's affliction. There may well be hope for humanity. Sam, I have no interest in rebuilding America. I want to recover the past. Five, oh, four, it's almost three, time. Two, one. After you make your connections and nothing happens, then what? I said, then what? Sam, sorry to bother you while you're taking a break, but I figured you'd want to hear this. Hell, maybe it'll help you rest easier. We received a number of messages addressed to you. I've not taken a look myself, but I gather they're mostly from your clients. You should see if they contain any useful information. Mail can be accessed via your cufflinks, as well as the terminal in your private room. There's something else I'd like to share with you. With the Cairo Network, we now have the power to reclaim our past. Data once thought lost forever from every corner of America can be pieced back together from fragmented records. Our archives are still a work in progress, of course. But as we expand the network and integrate more way stations and cities, we'll be able to recover more and more information, such as the previous expedition's logs and reports. Everything they sent back was lost when Central Knot City was destroyed. Now we've managed to restore some already, in fact. You can access them from a private room terminal or your cufflinks by selecting Archives. Might make for interesting reading.
what we agreed on. You said you'd do everything in your power to save Bibi. We are. But we cannot release your son just yet. Believe me when I tell you it's for the best. This is a woman in a mask who's done nothing but lie to me. Sam, there's something I forgot to tell you. It's about managing your BB stress levels and reducing the risk of autotoxemic attacks. There are a few things you can do if your BB starts showing signs of distress. Such as? Such as take a moment to look after it. Cradle the pot, gently rock it, that sort of thing. Out of curiosity, how's it doing at the moment? Uh, before I answer that... Something wrong? When I hook up my BB, I see things. What kind of things? Like a face, someone I don't know, calling to me. There's this room, too, with other people talking, but I can't make out the words. Mm, lead-through effect. Didn't I warn you about this? You're mistaking the BB's memories for your own. They're false flashbacks, nothing more. Let me explain. A BB is harvested from its steel mother at around 28 weeks and placed in a pod. To be clear, this is before it's even born. The procedure halts its development. But even at 28 weeks, its sensory systems have matured enough to process external stimuli. It is more than capable of encoding this information into memories, which can bleed into yours via your connection. So who's the man I saw? Someone from the medical team, maybe? Or a BB technician? Does it matter? The BB has been in circulation for a while now. It's been handled by a lot of people. How should I know which one made an impression? Because you're the expert. No one's an expert, Sam. BBs were developed decades ago in secret. They're your quintessential black boxes. We may use them, but we don't truly understand them. Believe me, I've been trying to learn more, but almost all of the old records are gone. If I find anything out, I'll tell you, all right? Dead man's honor. Network diagnostics. Corellium monitoring and holographic systems are nominal. Unfortunately, our printer is offline. I know, I know, after all the trouble you went through to bring us those materials. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Well, would you look at this? Thank you so much, Sam.
Sam, the area around that distro center has produced a significant quantity of Cairo crystals. Matter of fact, that's where the Chirelium used in your Cupid's internal circuitry came from. They have a range of applications, including equipment fabrication. Bottom line? They're a valuable resource, and one you'll want to make the most of. I'll let Hartman explain in more detail, but... Cairo crystals don't exactly grow in trees. If you see any deposits, you should go out of your way to gather them. Especially since folks with dooms are the only ones that can. Provided they have the necessary equipment, that is. I'll see that it's added to your supplies for this order. Sam, it's Hartman. Following the discovery of the beach, we not only began to observe heretofore unseen phenomena, but a new type of matter, Chirelium. I say new, but it has doubtlessly existed since the dawn of the universe. We believe it was always there, like dark matter and certain particles, ever present, yet overlooked because we lacked the capacity to see it. Chirelium appears to be unbound by the constraints of physics as we understand them. It can stop time or move contrary to it. On occasion, it even defies gravity. In practical terms, it can stop or even reverse time and causes objects to float. A special cylindrical case is required to collect and store it. Suffice it to say, the procurement of samples is vital to our ongoing research. Heads up, Sam. Distro Center staff's got a favor to ask. Probably best I start from the beginning. This one's on us. We ordered a part a while back, but it never arrived. The printer needs it to communicate with the chiral network. Mules must have snatched it, caught that porter en route or something. If I'm right, they'll have taken it to their drop site, which is smack dab in the middle of their territory. Don't suppose you'd be up for stealing us our property back? Can't think of anyone more qualified than you. Mama's added a watchtower schematic to your PCC. If you don't have it on you, consider fabricating one. You never know when you'll need to recon an area. a crystal collector. Now, as the name suggests, it provides secure storage for any crystals you gather. Uh, 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 allow me to describe your quarry. Chiral crystals appear gold to the naked eye and have frequently found in formations resembling human handprints. The surrounding rocks and debris tend to float a few feet above the ground and they are most commonly found in areas with high precipitation. Got all that? Hmm? Rain, floating rocks, golden handprints. That's your trifecta. Look for these three things and you'll find the crystals. If you've been especially observant, then perhaps you already know where to look. Order of time.
construction complete. Sam, pyro crystals are pretty small and can be difficult to spot with the naked eye. I'd advise you to use your ultra deck to point you in the right direction. If you want to survey a wider area, though, you might consider building a watchtower and relying on its sensors. crystals for us? These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels, which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. <laughs> Damn, son. That is a lot of crystals. Maintenance and R&D will both get their fill, looks like. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. They'll be added to the... These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Good work, Sam. It seems your connection level is increasing. As your connection level increases, larger quantities of resources will be made available to you at our facilities. Oh, 
This is for you. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Good for dealing with timefall degradation and all that. Useful stuff if you and your cargo have been through the ringer. We've added it to your supplies list, so it's readily... Be safe. There is a correlation between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry, though. Local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. If you come into more chiral crystals, you can submit them at one of our facilities. And you can deposit other resources, too, along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. Beginning scan. Not a pleasant journey. Still got work to do, Sam. Let's not keep people waiting. Weapons restrictions lifted. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Hello? Weapons restrictions lifted. Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. But be careful, these guys are armed. If this goes sideways, be ready to fight. Remember, Sam, before you approach the mule drop site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. sites are rarely deserted, so remaining undetected is key. Keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise.
been busy. Seems all the mules in your vicinity have been incapacitated.
damn addicts chasing a cargo hive. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Back in the day, AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It was revolutionary. Damn near singularity. No reason for it not to take off. But it didn't. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. So, after some consideration, we put it back in. Made jobs no one really needed and gave them the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we've got cults of cargo chasing crazy to get off on hijacking shipments. Jackal's always on the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not him. Uh. printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Never doubted you'd come through for us. your shoes holding up not too well i imagine conditions being what they are out there nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself i've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies bridges standard issue so they ought to fit you fine you should always carry an extra pair but if you forget or run into trouble you can fabricate another via a terminal at one of our many facilities Congratulations, Sam. I understand you now have access to a chiral printer. An extraordinarily useful device that can only function because of the manner in which our network utilizes the beach, enabling us to transfer massive volumes of data instantaneously. Since under normal circumstances, such transfers would take hours, if not days, 
Some have speculated that the chiral network might, in essence, be a time machine. That it is transmitting data into the past. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature of the network and the beach which we have come to rely on. One might liken our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Furthermore, as the BTs are linked to the beach, it stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. The same could be said regarding you, of course. <laughs> Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. a bridge schematic to your PCC. The first step is laying the foundation, after which you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try.
Scan and scan. Have a pleasant journey. Okay, Sam. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Weapons restrictions lifted. Access it to submit additional materials. Sam. That bridge should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye out for other spots that could do with another well-placed bridge. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Weapons restrictions lifted. Restrictions lifted.
Beginning scan. Scanning Bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. All weapons will remain locked until departure. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. You know, Sam, distro centers and the like are stocked with materials you can use to fabricate equipment. You can also take what you need to build structures. That said, there are limits to what each facility can spare. Check their terminals to see what they are.
Over here. Today's a good day. This one's for you.
the gazers, the fall of America, everything. It warped the world beyond recognition. Humanity had to scramble like rats fleeing a sinking ship. But there's nowhere else to go. There's no future living like this. If we're to survive, we need to find another way. A way to overcome the BTs, the death stranding, the whole damn mess. be able to power the distro center via the chiral network. Other places too, if it works. Here's hoping the UCA can put our electricity to good use. Mind if I have a look? Incredible. How'd you get this here? You fly? Now's a connection to the chiral network. Network bandwidth is a limited resource, and every structure you build consumes it. However, as you increase your connection level, the bandwidth available to you... did our part. Thanks again. You know, I heard the rest of your team was... makes what you're doing all the more incredible. I hope Amelie's doing as well as you. Wonder if she may... It was her that put us in charge of the... I was with the group bringing up the rear while Amelie led the way. I never met her in person. But it was an honor to travel with her all the same. When you see her... Sam, got a moment? I ran an experiment with your blood. It seems you were onto something. After dispersing an aerosolized sample of your blood in BT territory, we observed reduced activity. While this is hardly definitive as we have no other repatriates to whom we can turn for additional testing, it does suggest that the bodily fluids of repatriates are repellent to BTs. Mama had the idea of developing a weapon to test this theory. The prototype should be ready soon, and when it is, we'd like you to test it. Sam, this is the perfect opportunity. We've almost got the whole region on the chiral network. All that's left is Port Knot City. Return to Capital Knot City so you can pick up relief supplies for Port Knot. By the time you arrive, we can give you the completed prototype in person. One other thing. It's not very often porters get out to that wind farm. While you're there, you should pick up any outstanding orders. No sense coming all the way back here empty-handed if there's work to be done. Have a look at that delivery terminal. Good work. New order available. Congrats, Sam. You're cleared to take on open orders. While they're not as high priority, if you're already heading a certain... Just because they're not mission critical, does... so why not do... Great work. That 
wind farm you've brought into the network is essential for our continued expansion. By way of reward, I've added a little something to your PCC. A generator option. Generators recharge the batteries of all nearby devices. That includes machines, bikes, and other battery-powered vehicles. Handing over excess materials to a facility, you can increase. Now these materials can then just remember. Don't get carried. Check the order summary. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> 